Uh, welcome to the new social studio, which formerly was Radian 6. If you notice up in the top, uh, it says socialstudio.radian6.com. If you just search for social studio, you'll find it and go to the login page. It should, would look like this. You click login and it's going to take you to this virtual system. When you come to the system, basically there's a couple things you need to notice. First off, we have workspaces, and we can create the workspace up here. Over on the, then over on the far right side, I have information, I have feedback, you know, alarms, you can do questions, of course. And then you have a big one, which is your account. In your account, you will have administrative functions, And so when you go to the administrative functions, you'll have a summary of all the different accounts. You don't need to add social accounts. All this is linked into the system. But one of the key ones that you have is a topic profile. And a topic profile is basically the criteria you want to um, develop. And so this is a list of the ones I have. You notice each one has a title. It'll have an ID unique to it. It'll have the owner who created it. You'll also have an EMV, that's the estimated monthly volume of documents you'd be processing. So depending on what it is you have, you um, you know, some of these are very big. But the, the key is in the real world, you will probably work on them to get them as, as tight as you can. Um, and so for any one of them, if you want to edit it, you can. Or you can go up here and do an add new, and I'm going to do that. So let's say I add a new one. Let's, I'm going to call it, um, sorry, i got to move the mic to do the typing. I'll call it a demo, and I'm going to put quotes around it. You shouldn't, but the, some prior class people have done it. So I've now created one called demo. Now I can do three things. I can add keywords, I can add and keywords, and I can exclude keywords. So let me give you a couple examples. Let's say I wanted to do Medill IMC. I could do Medill and IMC, which means those two things have to be together. And when I'm done, I click Done. Or I could put in Medill, Done, and IMC. Now what that means is it has to have those two in combination. So if I did this, this one in combination, I could get rid of this one. So I could do Medill and IMC, or I can do it as a single keyword saying I want those things united together. Um, in, and so this will put it together in terms of a, a close proximity. This will be anywhere in the document. I could also put in Northwestern or whatever, and I can do that. I can also exclude keywords. Okay, so um, you know, there uh, if there was some sort of a local pub or something called IMC or something, we could get rid of that. And so now I'm going to create this keyword group. I can do this as many of these as I want. And so I've created the keyword group, and so it tells me that now I can select any language that I want. Okay, it, it, the default of course is all. I can look at any media types, but it'll basically give me all of them. Sometimes I get rid of buy or sell, but you, again, you don't have to, but it's probably not going to be a buy or sell type term. Notice you have Instagram and, and, uh, f and Twitter and so forth that you have as, as sources. Um, you can do any region of the world that you want, any specific country or countries. Um, and then when you're done, you save the topic profile. When I save it, you see demo appears over here. Now to get back to the system, I click over here on the right hand side where it says Social Studio. Now I'm back to all my workspaces. You can create a workspace, or I've already created one here called Class Demo. If you look on the workspace, first off you can put in any kind of picture you want. And you'll see you down here the little gear. The gear is basically takes you to the administrative and the uh, the the system functions of that one. So I've created one called Class Demo. 
uh, all you have to do to click or create a workspace is to click create workspace so what I want to do is I'm going to click on the little gear it's now going to take me to the specifics so this is one's called class demo I can manage my basic information if I wanted to put in a picture you know I can certainly do that um, by clicking here I can put a description in there for the for a team and so forth I can also remove the workspace so I'm saving those let's go back I click the back arrow I can put in multiple users right now I'm the only one that can do it uh, I don't need social accounts but here is one of the ones I do have I have topic profiles and I can add as many as I want here I've got one for Amazon artificial intelligence big data big data analysis now I go over to the right and I click add new and there's the one I call demo all right so I'm going to add that topic and so what it has done is it's pulled that together I have approval rules if I wanted to give this to other people uh, I can track different things using bitly you know and so forth I can do engagement macros so there's all sorts of different pieces that I can do um, you know uh, pulling together if I wanted to okay so what you want to do is let's go over and now we click on the word class demo that's our workspace let's just look at the whole workspace and to do that what we want to do is we want to click on engage all right engage means you want you get the ability to do it this what I've done now is I've actually pulled big data which is one of my topic profiles and I put it in to this particular analysis okay what it's showing me is I've got 600 and 630 603,000 that are uh, that I'm, I'm getting from all sorts of different resources um, to just uh, get a good idea of what's going on and here you see where it comes from you know blogs video mainstream and so forth and so and you and as, as you see it's real time so new eight new posts have just occurred and here it is if I want I can add another column I can add either social account or topic profiles let's do demo I am going to put that in there because uh, I put it in there I can now apply it and so we're applying it to this particular column there it goes now loading them up it's you see there's 29 people that have been talking about IMC and you notice it's international okay and as new things come up you know um, and you see some tweets that I've done and some tweets that other people have done um, you get to see a flow of what's going on here with the words Northwestern and IMC all right when I get over to after the engage column and we won't use publish which is actually putting out these things I can go and I can analyze anything I want and so what is telling me is I can create a dashboard or I can use an existing dashboard and so this the dashboards you want are basically social listening summaries so let's uh, I put out one for class demo called big data analysis let's do another one let's create a new dashboard a social listening summary I can do it for specific things but let's do social listening okay and I'm gonna cr and let's use out of our, from our topic profiles let's use demo and we're gonna create this dashboard okay so what it's doing is it's now doing an analysis of the this one called demo okay and I can edit that as I go if I want and what you're seeing here is all the activity that is happening relative to that so you see social media type you see influencers and so forth uh, you see a sentiment trend and what I can do is if I wanted to add more things I can click on edit I can click on add and here are all the different types of reports I could do so I could do countries you know and I don't think there's countries on here let me go back and just see I'll close this with a little X yeah I don't have a country one so I can go down to here where I have some some space I can add and let's do um, let's do 
let's do countries and we'll put it down here disk box and we'll do it for demo or no we'll do it for uh, let's do big band big data now let's do demo we've been doing demo apply so now what it's doing is it's showing me by country and I can go in here and make it into a map or things I could also do any other you know one I could look at things like uh, you know post labels I could do a sentiment trend analysis I could do a share of voice trend you know which is kind of an interesting one and what it will do is it will keep building out my group so this one is pretty new because there aren't a whole lot of activities so if I want to go back I can go back to uh, analyze should take me back to the different ones I could do here's one I've done for big data and so what you see here is over here on the right you see the actual live tweets coming in so you can adjust your your uh, your template is what it is part of what we're I'm listening for in big data is things like algorithm uh, you have the post volume so you can see it by the different sources and you can scroll up and down to see where it's coming from you can look at the top influencers you can look at the media types you got a word cloud that's interactive so I can click on any of these and see what they're talking about and it'll take me to the next level down you can see the countries, uh, the languages being used, the keyword groups, sentiment trends, sentiment analysis. And again, these things are all live. So I can begin to look at, I can bore down into the data and begin to see what it is. So I can say, here's, the, here's all the positive ones. Here's all the negative ones. You know, and I can actually see what people are saying. And so you can get very detailed in the data. You just click back and it'll take you back. If you wanted to look at, at countries, you could do that or keyword groups. If I wanted to get into the word uh, YouTube, let's see what it says about that. What it's going to do is it's going to go to through and find the things that were rated, related to YouTube here is and let me go see what it what it does and then it what it is so it's really building out um, a little bit of detailed information here as to what you have whenever you want to go back you go to the upper left hand corner and hit the back button and you're done so that's basically what you do um, you you go to class demo you can look at the class demo site playing around with Engage, figuring out how to make it all work. And then when you're done, you can go to the main site and it will take you to, uh, you know, the basic navigation. So have some fun with it. Um, it's a really great site. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.